My name is Dr. Joe Yudis. I am an adjunct lecturer in several departments at Buffalo State. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Dr. R. Bruce Baum. I'm a uh, professor emeritus at Buffalo State College. I've uh, taught here almost 40 years. My whole career has been in special education, all my degrees and most of my experience and teaching. As far as what I believe is universal design for learning, it is a way of designing your classes so that they are accessible to everyone. You take away the barriers, you make it easier for everyone to access the information and learn from it. Well, as I see universal design, um, basically it's making learning accessible to all students. It's accounting for their needs. It's being flexible in the, for both the uh, instructor and some with the learner as well. And um, as I understand it, it was based originally on architectural access and design for architecture. So it's really not that because that deals with success, accessibility and, and the structural issues and, and uh, architecture. But if we're going to make buildings accessible to people who have uh, various physical and other needs, then we make, need to make learning accessible to everyone. Well, it's changed my teaching because I realized after really spending time with Universal Design for Learning that I always assumed when I understood something the students would understand it too. So now I try to put myself in students place and think out what I'm doing and how much information would I need if I'd never heard of this before. Uh, it gives professors and teachers and instructors, trainers, uh, a way of looking at their own behavior as far as how that can uh, change to meet the needs of students who have different learning uh, needs and uh, ways of approaching things and challenges in their own learning. One of the other things that I like about Universal Design for Learning is it makes things easier for me. Once I post everything in Blackboard and on the syllabus, I don't have to answer the same questions over and over for the students. I discovered this year that uh, I can also use the calendar, so they have three places to find their assignments. The calendar, the syllabus, and every assignment has a due date uh, on the Dropbox in Blackboard. So everything is there for them. There's no, when is this due, what do I have to do, and when is it due. All the requirements are all posted in Blackboard. I think it's benefited my students because they are able to find things on their own. Students really don't like to ask questions if they can help it. So if you have the information available for them, it benefits them in feeling that they are in charge of their learning.